Hello folks, so I wanted to do this test for a long time now. Um, there's this guy called uh, the 3D Print General who uh, did a review trying to break, break these pieces. Uh, uh, these are in Think Thinkiverse. These are a strength test that you print out and you know it's just to check how how much it will hold uh, is pulling it down for different materials this is PLA white PLA uh, I'll put the brands in the description this is uh, Overture PET G and this is an Overture PET, uh, Overture nylon easy nylon that's how they call it um, so this one I I think it's super strong, but I, I've never done this test and um, the 3D print general does not have a test of this filament specifically. Uh, this this nylon prints super easy from Overture. Actually too easy to think it's like actual pure nylon, probably something else. After reading the description, uh, it's, it's kind of a mix called Copa. Uh, C-O-P-A, which is uh, is similar to what the 3D General presents as a super strong nylon or the strongest nylon that he has tested, even compared to the to the Nylon X or Carbon Fever mixes. So I just uh, couldn't resist to do the same test. So I don't have other nylon brands, but this is the Overture uh, Easy Nylon. Uh, it's cheap as well. It's like 30 bucks, 33 bucks, something like that. And this is PET G. So I'm just going to do the test to know, uh, you know, how they compare to each other. Um, and, 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 you know, get an idea of how strong it is. I'm going to do the same thing that uh, the 3D General did. So I'm going to put... Uh, a note from a scale from 1 to 10 on each of these. So I'm going to gonna try to break them uh, and if I'm able to break them I'll let you guys know how easy it was okay all right so we're gonna get started with P with PLA then we go with PEG and then we're gonna go with nylon. so to, to make this test what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this uh, screwdriver I'm gonna hold it on both sides of my hand I'm gonna put it around this point on all of them I'm gonna push down till I break it. This is Pele. Well, we just finished. Um, long story short, um, we were able to broke them all. Uh, it's funny because <coughs> the the nylon actually didn't broke, but I'll explain in a second. So this one is the PLA. This thing, if you see there. It's very well printed, actually. It's, you you cannot tell, uh, you cannot see the layers. It was a solid print, but this was super easy to break. Like I put some pressure and I broke it. Like even I didn't didn't even have time to notice. Um, so probably I don't know. I would give it a one or two, maybe three points out of ten, with luck. PG on the other hand, um, it broke, 
but it was harder uh way harder actually it didn't bend at all here again this is a nice print pretty pretty solid printing you barely see the layers that's the inside of the of the hole where i was grabbing it um so pretty solid it didn't bend so that's the magic of LPG. it didn't bend at all here uh so it broke in the weak part which is mm -hmm. the you know here where the where the screw goes through and um, but it still was easy i i put some pressure and and you guys can see in the in the video when it i i went I went through it and it, it broke. Uh, probably will give it a four or a five out of 10. And then the interesting part was the nylon, the Overture Easy Nylon. Again, nice print, almost, you can't see any layers. Um, it's super good adhesion here. R really nice print, it prints really nice. This thing bent. I, I couldn't break it. I was all the way down here, uh, completely uh, bended, and it didn't broke, didn't open at all, like nothing. It got it, it's bended though. I can't put it back actually. It's so strong that I can't put it back. This thing is tough as hell, dude. Uh, it broke here where the where the screw goes through, uh, which probably the screw was making some strength or something. This thing wasn't able to break. I, I couldn't break it. It just bent. So when you're printing parts with this nylon from Overture, it's damn strong. Um, so I usually print RC parts. If people have seen my my videos, I print wheels and all kind of different things on on with this nylon. I, I was expecting to buy some sort of carbon fiber nylon just to test it out. I'll probably do that. But since the 3D print general did already that test. I was avoiding that. I just want to confirm that this copa filament uh, mm -hmm. based on uh, nylon was as strong as this guy was saying. And you know, he was using a different brand. So I want to check if the overture, because it's so cheap, it was as strong as, as they said. And damn, this thing is strong, strong as hell. Still broke though here, but I don't know if that's, you will see, if you see the video, right? The thing broke at the very end when I started moving it up and down. So I think it just did a perfect strength to break it here where the screw goes through. But the arm never broke. The thing bended. It won't, it won't break. So yeah, there it is. If people are wondering how strong the Overture Easy Nylon is, I will probably give it, I, I don't know, this is the strongest filament I ever tried. I haven't tried a ton of strong filaments. Uh, but yeah, it's as strong as they say. Uh, and cheap, man, can't believe it. Probably, I don't know, I will give it a 10 because I don't. I, I haven't seen anything stronger than this, to be honest. Um, yeah, hope people uh, know what they're buying now. Okay, see you.